Uh, my name is Grace Summers. I'm a small farms outreach agent with Virginia State Small Farm Outreach Program. All right, so um, my passion with being an agent at uh, Virginia State University is getting to work with all the different farmers. I enjoy farming. I've been uh, involved in farming all my life. Uh, so I'm getting to meet a lot of new farmers, getting to help them out with a lot of new alternative enterprises, and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying passing my knowledge on to them. Uh, my background is horticulture. I work uh, with uh, plastic culture and drip irrigation, high tunnels, greenhouse production, and uh, vegetable production, you know, the alternative enterprises. Um, I'm knowledgeable of uh, agronomic crops. I have a degree in agronomy and also a master's degree in, in horticulture and plant science and, a, and also a master's degree in uh, agriculture education. So I cover the strike force counties which is I think about 22 counties but right now we're working in about 13 counties uh, with this program we're getting information out about NRCS programming and I also assist agents in their counties if they need help of, uh, in a particular area. So I extend my knowledge by just transferring some of the information that I know from my background uh, to these farmers. So for instance, I have a vast knowledge of high tunnels. I've been working with high tunnels since uh, about 2005. Uh, so I have a, a, a good working knowledge from my background and uh, I ran greenhouses on campus for uh, in North Carolina for uh, about 12 years. So I have a vast understanding of how plants grow in an in indoor environment. So I'm able to utilize that to help farmers understand their growing systems and how tunnels should be set up and how um, how to operate those tunnels to the you know to make the most out of them. Um, also, my uh, 10, uh, 14 years of experience with plastic culture and drip irrigation, I'm able to um, help farmers utilize that information to realize how that can extend their growing season. Uh, so that they can be more competitive in the uh, market with their, with their, by having products when nobody else has products. So those are a couple of the ways that I extend my knowledge out to farmers. Uh, my advice for newer existing farmers is the same as I give some of my older farmers that are, that are still trying to stay in there. You know, if you're going to start a new enterprise, start small. Uh, take your time, get as much information as you can about it. Uh, and then definitely utilize your local extension people because they have a lot of knowledge uh, and, and they can connect you with um, some of the, the USDA programs that can help you, um, you know, with, with some of the cost of getting started in these enterprises. But I guess the biggest thing is, like I said, sm starting small, taking your time, don't jump into something that, that may not work out for you or that you may not enjoy. If you're going to grow something, at least let it be something that you enjoy growing and also think about the marketing part. You know, what are you going to do with it when you, you know, produce all of that stuff? Where is that bounty going to go to? Extending knowledge, changing lives.